Bryn and Anderson, you're here today to publicly declare your love for one another, to be joined in marriage. This is much more than just a social activity and a civil occasion because it's the declaration of your hearts built upon experience and enriched by your love. With love, it's possible to live a life together, each seeking encouragement and joy, the comfort, the health, the enrichment of the other, all of which will divide sorrow and multiply satisfactions. Real love and marriage is something beyond the warmth and the excitement and romance of being deeply in love. It is as much about the welfare and happiness of your marriage partner as about your own. But real love is not being absorbed in each other. Love makes burdens lighter because you divide them. It makes joys more intense because you share them. It makes you stronger so you can reach out and become involved with life in ways you dared not risk alone. True marriage is more than joining the bonds of marriage of two persons. It's the union of two hearts. It lives on the love you give each other and never grows old, but thrives on the joy of each new day. Marriage is love. May you always be able to talk things over, to confide in each other, to laugh with each other, to enjoy life together, and to share moments of quiet and peace when the day is over. May you be blessed with a lifetime of happiness and a home of warmth and understanding. Harmonious wedded life is a precious gain to both man and woman, because even though marriage increases the scope of responsibility, it adds the dimension to lo of love to life, giving it new meaning and purpose. On this day, Anderson and Bryn, the day of your marriage, you're standing somewhat apart from the world, and this is as it should be. This is a symbol and an open expression of your love. Love is not meant to be the possession of two people alone. Rather, it should be the source of a common energy, which gives you the strength to live your lives with joy, happiness, and courage. Anderson, will you take Bryn to be your lawful wife? Will you love her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only unto her as long as you both shall live? Cool. Yes. Good answer. Mm -hmm. Bryn, will you take Anderson to be your lawful husband? Will you love him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep only unto him as long as you both shall live? Yes. Great, perfect. The exchange of wedding rings is a tradition, is more than just a tradition. Wedding rings are made precious because you wear them. Your rings say that even in your uniqueness, you've chosen to be bound together. So let these rings also be a sign that love has substance as well as soul. A present as well as a past and that despite its occasional sorrows, love is a circle of happiness, wonder, and delight. May these rings remind you always of the vows you've taken here today. Anderson, in placing this ring on Bryn's, Bryn's finger, repeat after me. Bryn, with this ring, I thee wed. Bryn, with this ring, I thee wed. Take it and wear it as a pledge of my love, Take it and wear it as a pledge of my love. And as a symbol of all we shall share. And as a symbol of all we shall share. In placing this ring on Anderson's finger, repeat after me. Anderson, with this ring I thee wed. Anderson, with this ring I thee wed. Take it and wear it as a pledge of my love. Take it and wear it as a pledge of my love. And as a symbol of all we shall share. And as a symbol of all we shall share. As you begin your married life together, hold close to the words that you've spoken today to each other, because life isn't always an easy road, as you both know. Rely on your faith and in the promises that you'll make today. 
to help you through those times. You've declared before us today that you'll live together in marriage. You've made special promises to each other. And in the joining of hands and the taking of vows and the exchanging of rings, you've symbolized your love for each other. By the authority vested in me by the state of Texas, I now pronounce you to be husband and wife. Anderson, you may kiss your bride. And now it's my great honor and privilege to present Mr. and Mrs. Bennett.